Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's practice is a practice for a masculine energy. So we are going to be moving through different poses that will help to ignite and balance our masculine energy. So we're going to get started in a seated position and we're going to use the Shiva Linga Mudra, which is really appropriate for what we're doing because the masculine and feminine energies are often are called um, Shiva and Shakti energies named after Lord Shiva and his first wife, Shakti. So if you wanna do some more research about that and about the Shiva and Shakti energies and how they move through your body and how they activate and balance those masculine and feminine energies, feel free to educate yourself about that. So again, we're coming to a comfortable seated position, getting ready to use our Shiva Linga Mudra. So our left hand is going to be flat and our right fist is going to rest on top with our thumb facing upward. Another thing is that feminine energy is associated with the left side of the body and a masculine energy is associated with the right side of the body. Everybody has masculine and feminine energy. All genders have masculine and feminine energy. It's really a spectrum. It's not, you know, particularly set on how much you're supposed to have, if that makes sense, but everybody has masculine and feminine energy. So left hand is flat, right hand on top, thumb facing upward. Let's just take a couple breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. And release any control over the breath and come back to your natural breath. And if you would like to set an intention for your practice, now is a good time. You can relate to what you want to get out of the practice today or what you want to get out of your day today. Breathe that in and exhale. Let's release our hands, rest them on our knees, palms facing downward, and we'll move into some seated cat cow. So we're pressing our shoulders forward, rounding our spine, bringing our chin down to the chest, and then rolling the shoulders back, lifting the chin up towards the sky arching the spine. So move in and out of a few more rounds of your seated cat cow at your own pace. Inhaling as the chest opens and exhaling as the chest closes. Couple more rounds. And bring your spine back to a neutral position and roll your body up to hands and knees. And we're going to tuck our toes under, lift our hips up and back, coming to our first down dog. You could just pedal your feet out here. 
So our masculine energy relates to confidence and organization and feeling powerful. So we're going to be doing poses that activate your confidence, that activate your assertiveness, that activate your discipline. So some of those poses may be poses that ignite your solar plexus where your confidence and your will and your power resides. Bring your gaze up in between your hands and then step your feet up behind the hands. Bring the hands to the shins for a half lift. Inhale, exhale, come down to your forward fold. If you like, you could grab your elbows, bring a nice deep bend into your knees, coming down for ragdoll. Release your elbows, bring your chin to your chest. Roll up to standing, bring your arms with you. Inhale, let your hands meet. Exhale the hands to heart center and down to your sides. So since the male energy relates to organization from the things I was reading, I thought it would be great to move through a couple sun salutations to help warm your body up. And sun salutations are always a great sequence to learn on and do on your own. So we're feeling nice and rooted down through the feet. We'll sweep our arms up, inhale, let the hands meet up above you, small back bend. Exhale, dive down to a forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, up to a half lift, place the hands on the shins. Exhale, place the hands down in front of the feet. Step or jump back to a plank position. Now you can lower down to the knees first or we'll lower down for our chaturanga. Make sure those elbows are tucked in tight for your chaturanga, either coming down halfway or all the way down to the belly. And then lifting the chest for cobra or up dog, whichever your preference is. Inhale. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, coming back to our Uda Adho Mukha Svanasana, our down dog. Taking a couple breaths. Bring your gaze up in between your hands. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale up to a half lift, place the hands on the shins. Exhale, lower down to forward fold. And bend your knees, roll up to standing, bring those arms with you. Inhale, hands meet up above you, small back bend. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Then back down at your sides for mountain pose. Good. Let's move through another round of sun salutations. Moving with our breath. Inhale, up, small back bend. Exhale, down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands in front of the feet. Step or jump back to plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga halfway or all the way. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Couple breaths and down dog. Gaze comes up in between our hands. Step or jump the feet up behind the hands. Inhale, up half lift. Exhale down, forward fold. And roll up one vertebrae at a time as you inhale, let the hands meet. Small back bend. Exhale the hands down to heart center and down to your sides. Good. Coming back to our mountain pose. Let's sweep our arms up with an inhale. Exhale. 
Open the chest, bend your elbows to a cactus position. Lift the heart and chin up towards the sky. Good, inhale the arms back up. Exhale, cactus the arms. One more time, inhale the hands up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Good, inhale the arms up again. Exhale, dive down to a forward fold. Place your hands in front of the feet and step back to your down dog. Good. Now from here, we're gonna take our right leg, leading with the right leg, and bring it straight out to the side. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, step the foot up in between the hands. Staying up on the back toe, we're gonna to come up for a crescent lunge. So sweeping those arms up. Hips are square with the front of the room. Front knee is aligned over the ankle and we're up on the back toe, but feel, to, feel free to rotate that back heel down if you need a little more support. And inhale. Exhale, bring those arms out wide for a nice, powerful warrior pose. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana. Gaze can come over the first two fingers. Check the alignment of the arms. Again, building that discipline, that confidence using these power poses. Take an inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, reach forward. Lower the right hand down to the shin, the ankle, or the ground for a trikonasana. Extend that left hand up towards the sky, activating that solar plexus in our triangle pose. If you want a challenge, you can feel free to look up towards the thumb. If you need a little more balance, look down towards the, your foot or down towards the mat. Inhale, exhale, lower the left hand down, come to a lunge position, step that right foot back, and you can move through a vinyasa or push straight up to your down dog. Chaturanga, cobra up dog, exhale down dog. Taking a couple breaths. Good, now let's extend that left leg straight out to the side. If you wanna lift it back first, you can, and then extend it out. Good, inhale. Exhale, step that foot up in between the hands, staying up on the back toe, front knee aligned over the ankle. Inhale up to your crescent lunge. Good, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, Virabhadrasana. Check the alignment of your arms and then bring your gaze over the first two fingers. <sighs> nice and powerful and confident in your warrior pose. Shoulders are relaxed, but chest is upright. Finding your jishti. Straighten that front knee, inhale. Exhale, reach forward, lower down for Trikonasana. Right arm extends up. Gaze can be up towards the thumb or down towards the foot. Inhale. Exhale, lower that right hand down. Step the left foot back and move through your vinyasa or push straight back to your down dog. Uh, taking a couple breaths. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop down to those knees. Bring the big toes together and float the hips back towards the heels for child's pose or a balasana. Extending those arms out in front. If your hips don't reach all the way back towards your heels, that's okay. You can keep the hips lifted. Just resting down in your balasana. Your 
inhale exhale float your body back forward and we're going to come down to a sphinx pose on the forearms so you're down on the forearms let the chest lift up and through the arms here shoulders are still down away from the ears we don't want to be sinking down into the shoulders keep them nice and active and then from here tuck your toes under behind you and we're going to lift the hips coming up to a dolphin plank so again tuck your toes pull that belly button back towards the midline towards the spine and start to lift your hips off the ground just briefly for a dolphin plank and then lower back down A couple more times. Lift the hips. And then come back down for dolphin. I mean, come back down for sphinx. Let's do that one more time. Lift the hips up in the dolphin plank. And then come back down to your sphinx. Pull the chest up and through. You can bring the tops of the feet flat. Got that from my friend Danny taking a class with her and I really liked it. Great way to activate that solar plexus. Good. Now from here, lower your chest down, bring the hands underneath the shoulders and push back to a table position. And we're going to take our right foot and step it on the outside of our right hand Preparing for our lizard pose. Again, foot is on the outside of the right hand. You can stay up on the hands or you could come down lower, coming down to the forearms. Either way, you can find a little movement here, maybe moving forward and back. You come down to your forearms. Maybe you let that foot roll onto its side if you want a little more of a hip stretch. Take an inhale. Exhale, come back up on the hands if you're not already there. Stepping that right foot back and do the same thing on the other side. Left foot steps on the outside of the left hand. And again, you can stay up on the hands, maybe gently rocking back and forth, or you can come down to the forearms. Maybe your foot rolls onto its side for your lizard pose or your Uttan Prastasana. Take an inhale, exhale, come back up on the hands, step that left foot back, coming back to a table position, and we're going to make our way down to our back. So if you want, you could just cross your ankles behind you, bring those feet out in front, and then roll down to your back, oh, however you get there, it's just fine. Rolling all the way down to our back, getting ready for a bridge pose or Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. Hands rest at your sides and just walk your feet back until you feel those fingertips touch the heels. Pull your belly button back towards the midline and your lower back down towards the ground. Trying to get that lower back flat on the ground. And then when you lift your hips, Think about squeezing your knees together. Sometimes our knees can splay out to the sides. So just keeping those knees over the ankles. And we'll begin to lift those hips off the ground. Lifting the sternum. Lifting through those hips. If you want a little more, you can uh, interlace the fingers underneath you and roll the shoulders under. Good. 
holding for three, two, and one. Releasing the shoulders, rolling back down to your back. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock side to side a little bit. Let that lower back get a massage. And then from here, just let those knees fall over to the right side. And you can extend the left arm out to the side and let your gaze follow for a nice twist here. Again, inhale, exhale, hug those knees back to center, and then let those knees fall over to the left side. Right arm extends out to the side. hug those knees back into the chest lifting the chin squeezing everything in in as tight as you can curling yourself into a tiny little ball inhale hold it exhale release coming down to your shavasana you can lay down or you can sit up for your shavasana just bringing yourself into a comfortable position as we end our practice. And let's come back to our deep breaths, taking an inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Letting go of any control over the breath now and coming back to your natural breathing. Allowing your body to relax as much as you possibly can. As you lay here, I will read some masculine energy affirmations to you, and you can repeat them silently to yourself. I am confident. I set boundaries that serve me. I take action and get things done. I 
I make decisions I am sure of. I embrace my masculine energy. It belongs to me. Take a deep inhale through the nose, inhaling in those affirmations. Exhale out the mouth. And if you're laying down, you can roll over onto your right side. Just taking a moment for gratitude and reflection. And when you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat. And together, we'll sweep our arms up above us with an inhale. Exhale the hands down to heart center. <sighs> Namaste. Okay, guys, that completes our masculine energy practice, tapping into our divine masculine energy, our power, our assertiveness, our confidence. So I hope this did for something for you. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you like the video, if you want to see more videos relating to Shiva and Shakti or masculine and feminine energies. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, thank you for watching. Peace and love.